black swan technologies will show up again. Shale gas was some combination of fracking, which we already knew how to do, and horizontal drilling that changed the assumptions around natural gas from we, can, we need to import $100 billion worth to we can export it. The same thing will, have with, will happen with renewable technologies. If, if an oil equivalent can be produced in country at $60 to $70 a barrel, it is actually cheaper than oil sands and deep offshore drilling. So I suspect... Actually, it's the same price. Yeah, it is, it is similar number. Yeah. Um, Rex Tillerson would say it's $70 a barrel for incremental investments. Um, I believe as soon as renewable technology, liquid fuel technologies from things like wood chips, which are scalable, start to reach that level, our assumptions will change. When is that, though? I believe that'll happen in the next five but, years, but, maybe a lot sooner. But Vino, you still, I mean, you still need the raw material. And if you go to large scale with what you're talking about, and it proves eminently practical, you still have a very big job of collection, which itself is a somewhat energy intensive activity. Well, it is. And we've looked at the net calculation, including the trucking costs. But we have very, very accurate models of that because we have thousands of paper mills in this country, probably a thousand that have gone out of business where people are without jobs, their homes have less value, and the landowners have no use for their land because you can't ship chips. The economics and the carbon footprint of that is well established. The logistics already exists. So to put a thousand such facilities in this country to replace existing paper mills that have gone out of business is a relatively uh, low risk task of great execution and operations. And I think as soon as the oil companies in the next two to three years see the first few plants that are operating efficiently, they will start to apply their execution and scaling skills uh, partnering with these companies. So you're still strong on cellulosic ethanol? I, I absolutely believe cellulosic fuels will be a very large fraction within 10 years. Uh, uh, let me pick a number. How big, yeah, what number? Uh, what number? Uh, I would say north of 5% in, um, th that's uh, 5 billion gallons, um, uh, uh, 7 well, billion eth eight. Ethanol is 9% on a volumetric yeah, basis. I'm not today. talking about existing. No, yeah, existing. 9% like of your gasoline is ethanol. Right. Yeah. And I'm talking about incremental above that. Above that, 5%. And my bet is we could do more than 10% in the next 10 years if, if if everything goes right. If everything really? goes right. If everything goes right. And I believe the biggest part of everything goes right is what the financial markets are doing, not the technology. I see.